Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about how we can take our NumPy math operations farther and use broadcasting. Let's jump right in. First, let's go ahead and import NumPy again as NP, and then we'll create two new arrays. So list A will be a nested list of one, two, three, the second list being two, three, four, and then the third list being three, four, five. And then we'll say list B will be a single list with one, zero, and two. We'll create the arrays how we always do. So np.array list A, and then D type equals np.int32. We'll do the same thing for B. We'll say B is equal to np.array list B, and then int32 is the D type. The first thing we need to do is to look at the shape of our two arrays. So we'll use dot shape, and we'll print the shape of A, and then we'll print the shape of B. We'll execute with our command prompt or terminal. We'll type in Python 3, and then my script is called broadcasting.py. We see that the shape of the first array is 3 and 3, and the shape of the second one is just 3. NumPy allows us to do mathematical operations using arrays in different shapes. This is just called broadcasting. Let's see an example of this. If we print A plus B, how we did in the last video, what do we think will happen? We have one array that is much smaller than the other one. When we execute, we see that each of these arrays have been increased by this array. What NumPy has essentially done for us in the background is taken this array and increased it to the same number of dimensions as this array. If we were to type this out explicitly, we should expect the same thing. So if we change our array to have the same shape as the one above it, we should expect the same result in our terminal. When we execute, we see that this is the case. Since we want to do the same operation on each of these, we don't have to explicitly type out this three times. NumPy doing all of this in the background makes our scripts a little bit more efficient and it makes them process faster. So whenever you can use broadcasting, it's recommended. To use broadcasting in our Python script, we have to make sure that we follow a certain set of rules. One array must be either of the same number of dimensions as the other or have a dimension of one. If one array is smaller than the other, then that means that it has to have a dimension of one. So whenever this happens, we just repeat that dimension until it has the same number of dimensions as the other array. Because of this, broadcasting is only allowed whenever all dimensions are compatible. After we do this broadcasting, each of the two arrays are treated just like they're the same shape. We saw this whenever we increased our array B to the same number of dimensions as our array A. We saw that there is no difference in our Python script whenever we type those out explicitly. Although we're not able to use broadcasting with every math operation, we should try to use it whenever we can. There's a full list of universal math operations that we can use in broadcasting, and I'll be sure to link that below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know. Until next time.